Hey guys, welcome back to more AFK Arena. In today's video, we're going to go through the Hero Trial of Scarlet. I still think she looks OP. I think she's going to be fantastic. We will have to wait and see. Unfortunately, I haven't had time to test her today. Uh, in the process of selling the house, i got the kids here where my studio is. Miss is taking care of them. If I look flushed, it's because it's like 35 degrees Celsius here. I'm upstairs. It's hot as all hell, so... I apologize if I look like absolute trash, which, you know, normally I do anyway. So let's go ahead and try this. Um, I will definitely do more testing. I think she's going to be an absolute beast. I really want to test her on early game accounts and all that stuff, as I always do. But we've got her, the Arcane Shadow. Once again, missing out on that 30 signature item on this account. I've really got to do some upgrades. I've said that every time, but we haven't yet done it. Um, but we do lose that um, additional 4% of max HP damage, which kind of sucks. I think it's going to be pretty key for her in like that high deficits. Good thing is we're on a low deficit so we can have a bit of a play with her see what we can do now our levels are 342 enemies are 446 so not a crazy um you know level deficit of 104 levels but you know let's play you know randomly because like obviously on this account i don't have everything so i can't make everything happen i think she could be decent in fire pool um just for the fact that it puts all the enemies in that range where then she can absorb their health um i don't actually know if it has like i said i haven't had much time to test so i'm just gonna do this uh let's just see so i mean she didn't get her ult very quick there now the other thing to consider with her is that's going to be really nice is she is a mage so you'll be able to put the wind binder on her to get her ult first ult off faster i think that's really going to affect it i think when she runs into battle here you can see that the first thing she does is actually do that life absorb and i don't know how many she actually hit because she did get a fair bit of energy there um but I don't know exactly how much it was. I don't know how effective she's going to be in the front row. I think if for, for front row, I think you're really going to need her with uh, something like a Ulna to protect her. Or you're going to have to run her with like something like a Merlin or a Stare or a Star, whatever her name is. Something like that to really help the survival. Because she, she does have some healing, which is going to be really strong early game as a power level carry. But I don't think it's going to be as strong in the front row uh, in general. So let's just look at something like this. I think back mid row might be the spot for her. So she can absorb from all of her allies and get more energy um, because as you can see there she doesn't actually get too much energy at the start of battle there and she does run down into the enemies and then get killed so i think there's a lot of that sort of testing that we will have to run with um but for instance if we go here put her in the front and then we put something like a rowan up the top here so that she can get that energy potion um as well as let's just steal the rowan out so let's have a bit of an experiment with this. Okay, you. I think, and because she works well with Rosaline, I think that's going to be interesting. Maybe you put it with a Mahira comp, but the Mahira comp, you want to run the Rosaline on the Mahira. However, in the Mahira, Rowan, Rosaline comp, if you throw her on and have Rosaline follow her, I don't know if like the Mahira will get that early CC, which will be enough. And then maybe put like a Moro in that team and you could be pretty set um, with something like that. That's something I'll definitely test on Kiazma as well. Um, but yeah, I feel like using something like Moro, her, Rosaline, Rowan, and Mahira. Mahira can get that really early ult by getting Rowan's potion. Get get the CC out. Then by the after, by that time, Mara can start rolling with his CC, and we can have Rosaline following her, just getting all the ults out, doing all the damage. I think it'll be really interesting to see how that pans out. Uh, let's just jump here, see if we can get her to get Rowan's potion. She should get it because she should absorb some health there. As you can see, it gets it really, really fast. Um, so if you use the Mahira team and you want Mahira to get it, you'll have to have her nowhere near Rowan because, like I said, she gets that super fast you know what we could even do i'm actually curious to test this um without any of that so if we go with like something like that what are my front row options let's actually remove you let's remove you let's just remove everything um and just have a little bit of a play around with the idea of putting her back mid because i believe from back mid she'll definitely hit the front two front two allies i don't know if she hits the others because that might be the best way to get her the most energy um so if we go something like you i don't want to use too much else let's do let's do rosaline let's stack this up so let's do rosaline um and rosaline can follow you okay nice um i would do morrow but my morrow really sucks uh, who else can we put? Obviously, I've got you. Um, you know what? Just so we let, let's just do like a no. Let's not do that. Let's put. Let's actually put something there that might help a little bit. It's too tempting to put Joker. So let's let's see how this goes. Okay, so let's see how much energy she sucks up. You can't. It's not really clear visually, but she does get 
to that Rowan potion range really fast. And okay, that's another thing. Obviously, we're getting spanked here because I don't have the right composition. But the one thing that I did want to note there is that if she uses her ult, it's not a channeled thing. So let's watch that again. Uh, we're getting boned by the uh, the Titus there. But you can see when she does ult, if she gets it off, ah, damn it. Last time she got it off before she got feared and the ult actually ran its course. So that's another, uh, another thing to note uh, in the way it works. So what if we do this, for instance? What if we do something like that? Does Rosaline get away? to not get feared. No, Titus just follows her. That sucks. <laughs> that sucks. Ah, uh, dude, I can't get it. I can't get any of this shit to work. All right, let's put you there. Let's see this. Can we stun him first before he fears? Okay, and Arthur is getting that potion before her. So in that corner, she's not actually getting enough. So it might be a back mid positioning that's going to be optimal. Unless, obviously, if we do something like this um, with her, with her, we can put Rosaline there. Like, I feel like this could be a pretty, pretty serious comp for it. Um, like that. And then I would, like, I'd opt for Morrow as my final positioning. Um, obviously not going to be great against this because we've got the Titus there, but I feel like something like that gives a five light bearer bonus, gets her the immunity so she can steal that health um, or steal that energy more importantly at the start. But then she does become very squishy in that front row. So as soon as we lose that ulna buff, she's actually straight dead. So obviously I haven't t tested anything. This is my theoretical testing as we go, as you can tell. Um, but I don't have the other things that I would like to try with her. I still think she's going to be really, really strong. Let's try it like this, because then we can protect the Rowan, but it's not going to work because the Titus is going to get through on us. So we need something with early CC to stop that uh, that Titus. But as you can see, she ults here, and it will keep raining down on the enemies. Like It just about kills that Titus, which is really, really strong in my opinion. Um, if Rowan can actually get an ult here, we might be okay. She stole that health, which is really nice. Then she's going to go ahead and rain it down again, and then we're going to get the double ult. And then you can see how with the Rosaline, it can really snowball. I definitely think with that Rosaline... Ah, shit, I didn't look at the uh, the damage thing. Damn it. All right, let's, let's close that. Um, but you can see how it can definitely snowball. Sorry for missing the damage on that one. We'll, we'll go into it one more time, see if we can get the same RNG. I doubt we can, but let's just put it on four times and see what happens. There's that ult doing big damage to the Titus. Titus didn't die, which means she's going to die. Give me one sec, because I kind of want to see the damage. Actually, there's no point seeing the damage, because she's going to have all of it. Um, but yeah, like, and, and also that's that, like, that's the key thing on top of that is the fact that if she has Windbinder, she's going to get to full energy so quick, like so quick. I even think her with like an Aziz, her in like Aziz with Rosaline could be a really good option as well. So you get that lockout with a bunch of ults because she is going to cycle through her ults really quick. Um, so like, you know, you drop Morrow out for Aziz, that could definitely be an option as well. Also offers you extra CC against that targeted enemy on the opposite side. Um, I think Morrow is going to be better in general, but I definitely think, you know, canceling those ults could have some good effect. Um, but those are the kind of things that I'm really thinking where she will excel. Um, but I will definitely test more of that on Kiazma. I think in early game, she's just going to be a godly carry until you have a full team of 240. I think she could be up there with... I, I think she could honestly be better than like a Damon in the early game. Obviously, Mishka's doing really well lately. Um, I like Thesku, but I think she's actually going to be probably a top tier. However, the, her signature item to 30 is going to be a key thing. Her furniture is also going to be very key um, because those two things really do buff her up. So I think she's going to be a decent early game carry because she misses those key parts. I still think she'll compete with some of the best. Um, but yeah, but then once she does get that signature item and that furniture, really going to demolish. So if you get the copies early, you do get a lot of free food um, for light bearers. I think she's going to do really well. But that is some early testing. Obviously, we didn't do much winning. I was just experimenting, talking you through my thought process. I still think she's going to be a beast, uh, but probably not front row now that I test it because even though she does have healing, which is good in the early game, uh, she just doesn't have the mitigation, which she's really going to need. So I think she's going to have to stick in the back row back mid looking like optimal for getting the most energy but yeah let me know what you guys think anyway thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i look forward to seeing the next one cheers